name Adam Doyle, and I'm here to share a quick peek behind the scenes at my creative process. As an artist and illustrator, I work with galleries, publishers, and uh, really companies of all kinds. This has included wine labels, food trucks, even escape rooms. I also teach for the Rhode Island School of Design, where I once went to school. In my professional career, it's mostly centered around mainstream publishing because I just love books so much. Over the years, it's, it's really expanded more into independent collaborations, particularly because I enjoy projects that come from a personal place and have a heart-centered mission in service of the greater good. Whenever I work on a new project, the first thing I do is get familiar with the material. So sometimes, in the case of when I'm hired to illustrate for competitive card games, the briefs arrive with a sentence or two, maybe a page, and that's what I'll start from with my sketches. Whereas um, with a book, when I'm working on a book cover, I typically ask to read the whole manuscript um, before I even begin sketching because that way I can be sure that I have a full grasp of the characters and the story, I can be faithful to them as well as capturing uh, the tone of the story visually. Other times projects are inherently more open-ended and invite total and personal interpretation of a concept or a feeling. So what we're gonna do is have a look at three different projects, a book cover, a bookmark, and a fine art painting. So see if you can spot the thematic connection among all three. For the cover of Blue Lily, Lily Blue, by Maggie Stivater, which is the third in her uh, Raven Boys series. I read the manuscript and then spent around a month or so brainstorming images and sketching out a lot of different directions. We ended up opting to portray one of the ensemble characters named Blue. Um, I explored depictions of her underground and entwined with leaves and flowers. And the editors agreed that this fit really well with the magical realism quality of the young, the young adult narrative. Once the sketch was chosen and agreed upon, I painted the image piece by piece, scanned it in, and then assembled it layer by layer in Photoshop. Another project that I'll share here was with Brooklyn Booksmith, which is a lovely local bookstore and hub of the community. I created a series of six bookmarks to be given out for free to their patrons. Uh, this actually led to shirts and stickers as well, but that's another story. They gave me complete freedom with the imagery, but I did want to make sure that they each coincided with the season, with the time of year, and also would include a book, right? That makes sense. So as you can see here, for this piece, which was set in the summertime, I let my sketches lead the way, which began with a woman going to read under a tree, and then over time it evolved, and I decided to make the tree more prominent and then become a sentient being, and then having the tree offer the woman uh, wisdom in the form of a book. And here's a look at a piece called Dual Nature. This is an idea I came up with more recently to convey an awareness of domestication. So I've been thinking a lot lately about who we are and how much society has shaped us into a form that may be quite different from our natural state. I felt that the artificial selection of dogs, you know, the way that we raise dogs and steer them in different directions, really could kind of express this concept succinctly. 
So after a few quick sketches that were really just basically notes to myself when I had the idea, I knew where I wanted to go and I got right to painting. Thanks for watching this video. I'm excited to continue to bring my skills to the community as we help humanity awaken together. Um, it's an amazing time to be alive and to use our gifts to be of service to the betterment of all. And yes, all three thematically connected to nature.